The return of my coin lady channel brings me much joy. Just recently, a former executive from Ripple clarified the true purpose of the XRP escrow. This not only gives us a better idea of what's to come, but it's also important to know today, given all the false positives and negative comments about XRP. Furthermore, I intend to cover some ground and get down to brass tacks in this video. Now that we know what's been going on, we can see that many are considering selling all their XRP and focusing on Ripple. It usually causes many people to act irrationally, such as selling their XRP or going short, which puts a lot of pressure on the price to fall. We suddenly find ourselves squeezing those shorts and pumping again. However, a lot of the things happening in the space, especially with the escrow and the 1 billion that is released monthly, are exaggerated. Take this 1 September effect as an example. Ripple is getting ready to dump up to 3, 50, 000, 000, 000 XRP in a bigger dump. Irrational behavior, the spread of false information and disinformation, FUD, on Facebook and YouTube, and general dissatisfaction are all results of reading them, which is funny in a way. Here we go again with Ripple selling off XRP. What follows is an outline of our current understanding of XRP, including some analysis of its pricing and other relevant details. However, the most recent report indicates that Ripple currently possesses 45.55 billion. This report goes all the way back to February 14, for example. Following the sale of 1,006,417,233 XRP, XRP in the fourth quarter of 2023, all of this is proved by examining the quarterly reports, which Ripple is under no need to provide, uh, we can observe Ripple's XRP holdings at the bottom. Plus, it's laid out. This gives us some insight into the total XRP held by Ripple, the total XRP subject to on-ledger escrow, and the dates of September 30, 2023, and December 31, 2023. Looking at this one from May 18, we can see that in the first quarter of 2024, Ripple sold 841 million, plus XRP. Current holdings, $44.9 billion, plus $40 billion in escrow. This is the breakdown as of August 2, 2024. Here is the report for the quarter ending in 2024, where the holdings are updated once again. The first quarter included 5,077,658,695 and 40,700,005 dollars. The second quarter ended on March 31, 2024, with 4,836,166,156 and 40,100,000 dollars. Curiously, the entire amount of XRP held by Ripple is 4,682,112,997, while the total amount subject to ledger escrow is now below 40 billion, lying at 39,500,005. Outside of this, David Schwartz, Ripple's CTO, did give us some insight into why Ripple is the largest seller of XRP. The relevance of this can be seen from March 31, 2024, to June 30, 2024. Remember this from May? It totally disproves all those fear, uncertainty, and doubt articles and conversations about why Ripple is selling. Here, we have Ripple effects. CTO, here we may observe the 841 million XRP that did sell in the first quarter of 2024, as David Schwartz responds to a fresh round of criticisms about the company's XRP sales during that time. It should be noted that the 16% decrease from the 1.006 billion coins sold in the previous quarter to Ripple's XRP in quarter 120 to 24 is noteworthy. However, for the reasons given, Ripple is still the largest seller of XRP. What follows is an individual's May 19th response from David Schwartz. Since Ripple currently holds the most XRP, there is no practical way to sell it other than to keep holding the most XRP indefinitely therefore we have. Because of this, they have no interest in having the most XRP on hand. Even from this vantage point, Ripple's XRP holdings are visible on the map. This is a major development that has many people worried, after all, everyone is so pessimistic about Ripple selling XRP, believing that it is centralized and all that. 
However, if we also visit this page, we can observe that 14 hours ago, Ripple released 1 billion XRP from escrow, which is their customary practice. On September 1st, they just restricted access to everything. For the last several months, this has been coming up again and again. That makes you question their motives for hoarding it. We will now get into this shortly. I did have a conversation with someone on X, and it came down to the sale of XRP. I want to go into more detail about this later. Now this is where we could see David Schwartz, Ripple CTL, explain the reasons behind the company's enormous XRP sales. He claims that selling the XRP cryptos held by Ripple is the only practical option. Keeping them indefinitely, he said, was the only viable alternative to selling. This strategy is warranted since Ripple needs money for operations and development, and it helps keep the cryptocurrency market stable. David Schwartz pointed out that by selling XRP, Ripple can sustain its ecosystem and finance different projects and activities. Just in case you forgot, the stablecoin is making its way to Ripple. Just how crucial is that? Well, Ripple is going to reap a ton of cash from the RLUSD stablecoin. It will bring in a ton of money for Ripple, but it will also open up a ton of additional options for Ripple to make money and it will bring even more use cases for the XRP ledger and XRP's utility. The importance of that cannot be overstated. I mention this because XRP has been a significant source of revenue for Ripple. No doubt about it, this is also the reason why Ripple has begun to exert a great deal of selling pressure on XRP. Yet, its elimination is also one of their goals. They have no interest in becoming the biggest XRP holder then what are their other options? Keep in mind that a significant portion of what Ripple holds is still in escrow. We can still return to this location and the escrow amount will remain 39.5 billion. The sum is substantial. Here we have Chad Steingraper's Ripple XRP, he and his team are responsible for its creation. This takes us a little further into the past. Actually, the initial post by XRP underscore Crow dates back to July 2, 2020. All of that escrow is eventually in our possession. Institutions will hold XRP with the intention of using it as a bridge currency, a substitute for Nashville, or for other purposes. Institutions should hold this escrow if they desire institutional ownership of XRP. Exactly why are they peddling it? As I mentioned before, XRP is still a crucial option for Ripple to generate income at the moment. On a monthly basis, it brings in some money to cover things like internal processes and salaries. When the stablecoin starts bringing in a lot of money, they won't have to sell XRP. This brings us to the massive institutional network that supports Ripple. I brought it up more than once. With central banks all over the globe, they are talking about potential use cases. 20 or 30 of their institutions make up their network, in my opinion. The last time I checked, there were around 500 different schools. Also, this keeps becoming bigger and bigger. Finally, coming full circle to the topic of institutions, the most important item is utility, which is directly related to institutional use cases. Seeing my video is an honor. Bye for now, and please subscribe and like my channel.